<laughs> oh, oh, hello. Welcome to the Mike Polk Jr. Show. I'm coming to you from the roof of Fox 8, right here in the heart of beautiful downtown Cleveland, Ohio. And I was just reading this hot new book, Dan Right On From Cleveland, Your Guide to Making It in America's 47th Biggest City, written by me, Mike Polk Jr. I don't want to toot my own horn, but as far as literature goes, this thing pretty much makes Moby Dick look like a steaming pile of whale shit. But I want to make this clear. The following half hour is not going to be some cheesy infomercial where I'm just hawking my book. That's beneath me. I wouldn't dream of doing that, even if my book is the perfect gift for anyone on your Christmas list who loves to laugh. But if I were to spend the next half hour just shilling my book, that would be horribly inappropriate and in direct conflict with my contract with Fox 8, so it's not going to happen. No, tonight's going to be about more than this silly little book of mine that's available at my website at a very affordable price. Tonight we're going to celebrate the city of Cleveland itself for all of its majesty and beauty. I mean, look, oh God, there's a homeless man eating a raccoon by a dumpster down there. Reggie, call security, there's a homeless guy eating a raccoon. Hey, speaking of Cleveland, last week we held a party on East 4th Street at Pickwick and Frolic to celebrate the release of my new book, Damn Right I'm From Cleveland. It was truly a magical night, and anyone who was anyone was there. Here's a musical montage we made with a lot of quick cuts in it that makes it seem like the night was more entertaining than it was. Isn't it amazing what you can do with a little bit of editing? I started off the evening by performing a song for my ex-girlfriend who was not there. She told me that I'd never amount to anything in life, but since I did manage to put out a regionally themed 108 page comedy picture book, I guess I proved her wrong. I saw this as the opportunity to be the bigger man and give her a proper and mature farewell. Take a look. You're telling me it's over. I guess this time it's real. You say you love another And that's the way you feel If only I could tell you That I wish you all the best But I simply can't pretend to Cause I'm a bitter, selfish mess So I hope that you're unhappy And I hope your love grows stale and every time you try in life, I hope you always fail. And I hope that you get seasick, even when you're not at sea. And every time you vomit, I hope you think of me. I want you to fall down a lot for no good reason at all. And I hope that people laugh at you and say, how did that girl just fall? And I hope you never marry. But if you do someday, I hope that on your honeymoon, that dude decides he's gay. And I hope one day while driving, you're just texting like you do. And you hit a gypsy with your car And she puts a curse on you And I hope that curse is awful And it turns you very pale And it puts your feet where your hands should be And it makes you grow a tail And they put you in the circus And they throw you in a cage And I call them with my hot new chip just to tell you we're engaged And there you stay for all the time Growing sadder every day But not because of the gypsy curse Because you let me get away I know that I'm not perfect And the new guy treats you well But just always remember They'll see you both in hell all right, we're going to take a really quick commercial break. Attention city of Cleveland, do not panic. The Mike Polk Jr. Show will be right back. That should hold him. Oh, 
<laughs> Excuse me, it's the president of Ohio. Hello, Mr. President. Yes, well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the book. You want to give me the key to Ohio? And the Ohio Award for Excellence and Awesomeness? Well, I'd be totally honored to receive those awards that exist. Yes, sir. Yes, well, I'll see you on the golf course this weekend, you old sandbagger. All right, bye. I'm really sorry about that. Where were we? As you may or may not know, I am part of a sketch comedy group called Last Call Cleveland, which isn't sad at all, even though I'm 35 years old. What, you've never heard of us? Well, let me refresh your memory with one of our hilarious internet sketches. Take a look. I can't believe we all got drunk and went out and got tattoos last night. Yeah, that was a really bad idea. I think tattoos are stupid and I wish I didn't have one. Yeah, I agree. What does yours say? Um, apparently I got this. It's 311, I guess, like, for the band 311. Do you even like 311? I mean, they're all right, you know. Um, honestly, I can't even think of any of their songs right now. I don't even know if they're still together. Didn't they sing, love is, is what I got? That's sublime. Yeah, it's sublime. That is sublime. They were a good band. Yeah, that, uh, that would have been a better tattoo to get. I got a bruise. Ooh, what happened? No, it's, um, I got a tattoo of a bruise. Are you sure that's not a real bruise? Yeah, it's, um, it's a different kind of hurt. It's, you know, like, kind of stingy, so it's definitely a tattoo of a bruise. I got it as a joke, I think. That's not very funny. Yeah, well, not, not now. Did 311 sing, um, I just wanna fly? No, that was Sugar Ray. That is Sugar Ray. My tattoo is just the word tattoo. Why would you do that? That's a terrible tattoo. Were you trying to be ironic or something? No, I think I just probably couldn't think of anything. My tattoo says many moons. It's on the small of my back. What does that mean? I have no idea. Maybe it's your Native American name. I'll Google it. I'm always just gonna look like I have a bruise. Forever. People will think you're a hemophiliac. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. Here it is. Many Moons is a 311 cover band. That's the worst. I have the worst tattoo. What a stitch. Well, anyways, the fellas stopped by the book release party to lend a helping hand on stage. It killed some time. We sang some songs to make the ladies swoon. For example, do you remember the uh, Cleveland tourism videos that I made a few years back? Fun times in Cleveland today. Cleveland. Come on down to Cleveland town, everyone. Come and look at both of our buildings. Buy some food that's prepared near the street. Who knows, you might even see this guy. You should come on down to West 6th Street. It's the perfect place if you're an bag. Watch the poor people all wait for buses. Who the still uses a payphone? Here's the place where there used to be industry. This train is carrying jobs out of Cleveland. Cleveland leads the nation in drifters. Here's a statue of Moses Cleveland. He's the guy who invented Cleveland. Yeah! We're, We're not, not Detroit! Detroit. <laughs> that never gets old. Well, have you ever wondered what that song might sound like if we performed it live at a book release party? You haven't? Well, it's not all about you and what you want all the time, so watch it anyways. Uh, this first song's about uh, our hometown. That's my Bruce Springsteen impression. About hometown. <laughs> that was no good. Cleveland today, it's Cleveland. Come on down to Cleveland town, everyone. Come and look at both of our buildings. Buy some food that's prepared near the streets. Who knows you might even see this guy? You should come on down to West 6th Street. It's the perfect place if you're a bag. Watch the poor people all wait for buses. Who the f 
still uses a payphone. Here's the place where there used to be industry. This train is carrying jobs out of Cleveland. Cleveland leads the nation in drifters. Here's a statue of Moses Cleveland. He's the guy who invented Cleveland. Yeah! Two, three, four, five, six. We're on Detroit! Nice. Wow, that was nearly audible. But what's a gala event without a little bit of star power? Some celebrities making the scene. Well, there was no shortage of stars the night of my book party. I'll tell you that much. What sort of stars, you might ask? Have you ever heard of a gentleman named Matthew McConaughey? Well, he wasn't there. But do you know local TV attorney Tim Misney? You know, this scary guy. Heard at work? I'll make them pay. Well, Tim and I became fast friends many years ago when I posted this loving tribute to him on YouTube. Were you recently injured in an automobile accident? Did someone say something to you that you didn't like? Have you ever been hit by a train? Call me, I'm Tim Misney, and I can help. Have you ever had a brick fall on your head? That can't feel good. I will hurt them so bad. Did someone hit you with a shovel? I'll hit them with a bigger shovel. All I want to do is hurt people for you. I'm not even actually a lawyer. Shh. Bring that shot in closer. I just want to help you. Show me where they touched you. I will drink your enemy's blood. I said make the shot tighter. Who hurt you? I will put my evil inside them. Let me help you. I'm Tim Misney. Call me. Fantastic. Well, Tim Misney was at my book party in full force. Now, oftentimes, special guests read passages from the book being released at such a party. But I don't like my book very much, so I had Tim Misney read from Fifty Shades of Grey. Here's a quick clip. This is from page 230. I called my gay friend Billy to my trailer. I need to get your advice about something, I said tentatively. Not sure how to bring it up. My advice? Billy questioned suspiciously. I do your hair and makeup, for Christ's sake. How do you I blurted. <laughs> Make sure you get in a good round. And he'll love it if you squeeze your <laughs> like you're trying to hold a fart in. That was a tough act to follow. But luckily, I'm also friends with the Norton Furniture guy. You know who I'm talking about. If you can't get credit in my store, you can't get credit anywhere. There he is. Well, Mark was at my party as well, and I wanted him to read too. But again, not from my book. I always wondered what it would sound like if Mark from the Norton Furniture commercials read something from the Book of Revelations while the theme song from the movie The Omen played underneath him. The results were disturbing. Here's a quick clip. And as he gave up the dead, which were in it, and the death and hell delivered up the dead that were in them. And they were judged every man according to his works. And the death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whoever was not found written in this book of life will be cast in the lake of fire. You don't want that. Oh man, a lot of people left crying during that. And I think it might have opened a gate to hell. Stay tuned everybody, we'll be right back with lots more Mike Polk Jr. show. Hello everyone, I'm Mike Polk, and I recently put out a book about Cleveland called Damn Right, I'm From Cleveland. It's a... Hey! Hey, you're that dude from the computer! Yeah, I make internet videos. Yeah, I've seen those, you've done that, uh, Cleveland video! Yeah. Yeah, hey, why don't you move? Cleveland sucks! Uh, actually, I like it here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, I got an idea for a video, you should do it! Okay, I will. Cool! Hey, you did that Browns video! Yeah. Yeah, Sad Factory, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, did you make a load of money on those t-shirts? No, actually, I made almost no money. What? Yeah, I'm a really bad businessman. Man, everybody's got one of those. I'm wearing one right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're a dumb Thanks. Oh, hey, you know my one friend. Oh, yeah? Dave? You know him? I don't know. What's his last name? I don't know. You actually don't know him. You know uh, his old roommate, Scott? Yeah, well, Scott's sister went to Kent State where you went uh, two years after you graduated. Uh-huh. So do you know him? Who? 
Dave! Sure. Cool. Hey, are you making a video right now? Yeah, I'm trying to. It's gonna be awesome? Probably not. It's just an ad. I'm gonna watch. Okay. What are you doing? I'm making a video of you making a video. Could you maybe not do that? You're a I'm gonna tell everyone you're a That's fine. All right, cool. Well, it was nice meeting you. I'll tell Dave you said what's up. Well, at this point in the evening, the audience was whipped into a frenzy, and I had to let them catch their breath for a second so they didn't collapse. So, I took some time off and showed them a video, a video that we recently made called Huge Group of Girls. It's about every group of girls you've ever seen at a bar that's super annoying and doesn't want to kiss me. Here, take a look. Huge group of girls, huge group of girls. Everyone get ready, it's a huge group of girls. We're a drunken tidal wave. Watch out for our wake. We act like every night is Panama Spring Break. We're hobbling and we're bobbling and we're wobbling in our heels. We're drinking and we're smoking and we yell and laugh and squeal. We're a huge group of girls. We're a huge group of girls. And we dance, 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 dance. We text, 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 text. Huge group of girls. Huge group of girls. Where's the party? We're a huge group of girls. Stacy, uh, I just saw sure. her a second ago. Seriously, is that bitch? I think I saw her leave with a guy who was wearing an eye patch. Oh, ah, okay. Well, then I'm sure she's fine. Yeah. yeah. Dance, 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 dance. Text, 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 text. Huge group of girls. Huge group of girls. If you can't hang with these, get the out of our world. Barely wearing anything but spray on tan and glitter. Other hate on us because they're fat and bitter. Just because we're dressed like. Don't be quick to judge us. You can buy us drinks all night, but don't you touch us. We're a huge group of girls. We're a huge group of girls. Taxi. Hey, Canada. Even though your bacon is totally dumb and you all talk like you were hit by lightning, I still encourage you to buy my book, Damn Right I'm From Cleveland. Also, that Call Me Maybe song might be cause for war. As the evening of my book party was winding down, we took advantage of the fact that we had a captive audience to promote our hot, upcoming new Playhouse Square show called Uncles. It's a four-hour play about everyone's uncles, including yours. Here, take a sneak peek. We are four uncles. We are four uncles. I'm done. I'm Rick. Yeah, I'm Chuck. I'm Dave. We are four uncles. We are four uncles. I'm a plumber. I'm a neighbor. Yeah, I'm a pervert. I'm a Four uncles from your family. Some blood related. And some are not. Out of four uncles. Four like Euchre. Yeah. Four like sleeping at family gatherings. Four know what's wrong with your car. Four like to leer at your sister. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. She's yeah. getting yeah. big. Oh, oh, no. she's, she's, she's growing big. up. Hey, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. We are four uncles, we are four uncles. Two of us like to grab your nose. Two like detaching our thumbs to trick. So, I think I might grow a goatee. I get my license back in May. Oh, Look out, we'll yeah. see. <laughs> right, we'll see. Back no on the road. Look government. out, world. Right. Government. <laughs> Out of four uncles, I'm between jobs. Four could re-roof your house for cheaper. Yeah. Four of us still call boobs bazungas. <laughs> four of us blame our farts on dogs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke, I tell. That's a great old. joke. Not it's a real good, good joke. <laughs> Three of us are divorced, and I am remarried. But we're going through a rough patch. Oh, hey, cut, babe. Cut, babe. Plenty of fish in the sea. You don't got it. We are four uncles. We are four uncles. Two of us wear sweatpants to court. Why not? Yep. It's not the Taj Mahal. No. 
One took the boat out over the weekend. One of us still plays bass in a band. I don't get why I can't smoke in here. Yeah, why I mean, can't I smoke in there, too? What is this? I just say fire is this Russia? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle. 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 I play a pretty serious softball. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have saltwater taffy in my pocket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try and take my guns, Obama. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm no longer welcome at Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we all think California can keep the queers. California keep the queers. Well, there you have it. You pretty much just relived my book party. Except you didn't even have to pay an admission fee, you cheap son of a in fact, since you did pretty much just experience the whole show and didn't pay me anything, I think it's only fair that you send me an $18 admission fee, each and every one of you. Send it to this address. Thank you so much for spending time on this roof with me in downtown Cleveland. Boy, I love this city. The sights, the smells. What is that smell, by the way? Have we ever established that? Regardless. Thank you for being here. And now, as the credits roll, please enjoy several elegant shots of my new book, Damn Right I'm From Cleveland, from different angles. Good night, everyone.